All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we're going to be talking about the new X lawsuit, okay? Now, I usually call the website Twitter because that's what pretty much everybody calls it still, but because of the legality surrounding this and the fact that it's pretty much exclusively referred to as X in what we're about to take a look at, I guess I'll go ahead for one video and give them what they were looking for with this whole thing. So there's a new lawsuit coming along where X is basically trying to sue a big group of advertisers for pulling their advertising spending off of X after Elon Musk took control of the platform. Elon Musk and the CEO of X, Linda Yaccarino, Yaccarino, I believe is how it's pronounced, are kind of spearheading this whole effort to sue these companies for pulling their money out of Twitter. So to give you a little backstory here, Elon Musk buys Twitter. It was a publicly traded company. He makes it a privatized company. Over the last year and a half or so, all of these massive rule changes have come to the website. There's been kind of this gate, un uh, like, I guess, opened in a way, right? Where a whole bunch of different shit is now a huge problem on the platform. There's been changes, some good, mostly bad, in my opinion, uh, to the website since he took over. And there was a lot of issues that came up. Notably, there has been an issue with political extremism on Twitter. Now, I'll be honest, if you used Twitter before Elon came along, obviously political extremism was already somewhat of an issue, but it's now full blown on the platform. And I mean, it's literally everybody. You have actual Nazis on there. You have actual white supremacists on there. You have black supremacists on there. You have communists. You have socialists. You have far left wing nuts. You have Trump supporters, like literally everybody, right? From the people who are just interested in politics to people actually calling for the death or the removal of other people subtly on Twitter. The website has also devolved into this like AI bot spam where every single tweet pretty much is full of porn bots that are spamming OnlyFans accounts and links and content or people trying to, you know, help you fix your MetaMask wallet and your fucking Google password, you know, trying to scam you. It's just insane. Like the platform, it's not great, but it's still running. That's the way that I kind of look at everything, right? But after all of this happened and after all of this shit, obviously, you know, uh, advertisers became a little more questionable because it turns out that advertisers don't want to advertise their products next to insane out of the way shit that nobody really supports or views to be right. You know what I mean? Now this quote unquote illegal boycott as it's going to be referred to as uh, involves companies including Mars, the people who make candy bars and whatnot, uh, CVS Health, Unilever, other major companies, right? So basically what's being accused by Elon Musk and X in this case, right? Is that after this US House committee uh, basically quote unquote uncovered evidence of this illegal boycott these companies essentially like worked together in these groups and committees and organizations and between their marketing teams to basically band together and pull their advertising spend off of X, which obviously harmed the platform taking money out of it and it quote unquote harmed their reach and stuff. So before we react to the video by the X CEO explaining all this, I want to go ahead and show you a funny little clip that I think is pretty pertinent to this entire thing. So this is like when this whole advertiser drama was really heating up. Elon Musk was asked on stage about the whole conundrum and, well, here's what Elon Musk had to say to the advertisers that were threatening to take their money off of X and out of the ad spend. What was that trip like? And obviously, you know that there's a public perception that, and, and you're clarifying this now, um, but there's a public perception that that was part of a apology tour, if you will. That was, this had been said online, there was all of the criticism, there was advertisers, Leaving, we talked to Bob Iger I hope today. they stop. You hope? Uh, don't advertise. You don't want them to advertise? No. What do you mean? If, if somebody's gonna try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go f yourself. But go f yourself. <laughs> is that clear? I hope it is. Hey, Bob, if you're in the audience. Well, well, let me ask you that. Okay, 
So Elon Musk tells the advertisers, hey, then stop advertising. Don't blackmail me with money. If you're going to blackmail me, go fuck yourself. And then, obviously, everybody's kind of stupefied because the fact that the public face of a billion-dollar company would go on stage and tell the people that are paying all of the bills for the company to go fuck themselves. Like, nobody would see that coming. And then he doubles down on it. He says it again. And so everyone realizes, like, okay, he's being serious now. This is not a joke. This isn't one of those, like, weird Elon Musk moments where he's, like, trying to be funny, but he's not really reading the room. He's telling them to go fuck themselves. So now they did go fuck themselves, right? They took their money. They left the platform. They did quite literally what Elon Musk told them to do. And then now... Elon Musk and the company are trying to sue them, claiming that there was some sort of, you know, illegal boycott, illegal conundrum going on here, right? Where, oh, you know, there's this evidence that they conspired against us. And so the ex-CEO herself posted a two-minute video to her profile yesterday to explain the whole thing. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So these companies and organizations apparently committed a quote-unquote illegal boycott because they cooperated between each other to halt their advertising, but yet there's no actual cited law throughout any of this where they're like, hey, this is illegal according to this, right? And that's what's funny about this because the very few people who are actually supporting this, like, oh, Elon's fighting for our law, Elon's fighting for free speech, woo! None of them can actually cite a law that makes this illegal. They can't cite actually anywhere in any federal paperwork in the United States of America where any of this is illegal. And the reason that they can't do that is because this has happened before to major companies and it will happen again to major companies. But there's nothing inherently illegal about companies deciding, hey, I don't want to spend my advertising money here anymore. This is a platform where I don't agree with the message. I don't agree with the content. I'm not going to spend my money here anymore. Now, I know exactly firsthand what this feels like because I've been on YouTube for well over a decade, and in that time, we've had ad apocalypses, we've had ad boycotts, we've had controversies come up on the platform where, in mass, advertisers deemed that the platform was not appropriate to advertise on. And you're telling me full-heartedly that if Google of America, Google Incorporated, had the opportunity to sue all of these advertisers for boycotting their platform several times and costing them and all of their creators billions upon billions of dollars over time throughout multiple ad boycotts. You're telling me that Google wouldn't have sued for that or any other company that's faced something like that for this, right? You tell me they they just decided not to sue and then all of a sudden now Elon's the first one to do it. I just don't buy it because that doesn't make any fucking sense whatsoever. There is no law on paper that says companies cannot band together and be like, hey, we don't want to advertise on this company anymore. Unless it's for like some nefarious reason or whatever. But I mean, the, the obvious nature of why they started pulling their money away from the platform is clear. I mean, you can't even scroll through Twitter anymore without constantly seeing porn or constantly seeing gore or seeing videos of fucking people's cars exploding or fucking war footage from Ukraine or terrorism attacks or political extremism, shit like that, right? Like, yeah, advertisers that are running family-friendly brands do not want to put their message beside that shit. It's the same problem YouTube's had. When you had people on here, you know, fucking wilding out all the time, advertisers didn't want to spend money doing that. And so YouTube had to make changes for better and for worse. They expanded the marketing ecosystem so creators can sell merchandise through the website directly and do channel memberships. And they added in the fucking, you know, you can partner with brands like Lego and Nordstrom and become an influencer and get a cut of their sales. And of course, also, they added all of the advertiser-friendly guidelines and shit that nobody likes to keep the website, you know, getting advertisers and whatnot, right? That's what YouTube did. They didn't go launch a lawsuit. They didn't go start trying to fuck with people. They just started doing shit that actually affected the website. They started adding features for better and for worse, right? But instead of doing that, right, what, what, what's the main focus of X right now? File a lawsuit, okay? And, and, and also on top of that, instead of suing everyone else out, and everything, right? Quit trying to tell me too how I'm being targeted. Oh, this doesn't just target X, it targets you. Them deciding not to give you money doesn't hurt me really one bit. I make next to nothing off of Twitter. The most that I get out of Twitter is pretending to be a father of five whose wife no longer loves him and pushing my YouTube videos to people who already know who I am, okay? That's pretty much it. That, that's all that it is for me. Hey, everybody. 
I was shocked by the evidence uncovered by the House Judiciary Committee that a group of companies organized a systematic illegal boycott against X. It is just wrong. And that is why we are taking action. Today, we filed an antitrust lawsuit against the Global Alliance for Responsible Media, four of its key members, and the World Federation of Advertisers. These organizations targeted our company and you, our users. X's ability to thrive really isn't my problem either. I don't work at the company, I never have, and I probably never will, right? So what is your personal private company's performance really have anything to do with me? I mean, when YouTube would try doing this shit too, oh, you guys mean the world to us. You creators keep us going. You know, it, it doesn't work on me either because these are all fucking massive corporations worth billions of dollars. This message means literally fucking nothing. They could not care less about any of anyone being on the platform as long as they're giving them money or watching ads. That's literally the only reason they care. I mean, it, it's a privately owned company. You're a product of basically at this point, one man, and that is Elon Musk. Now, do I want Twitter to go away? No, not really. I mean, would the world grind to a halt? And would the entire media world, news world fall apart? And the fucking government collapse? No, absolutely not, because it's fucking Twitter. And they always make this reference, and I've heard this for years, it's the digital town square. We're working on the digital town square. It really doesn't mean anything. And it also means a lot less when you look at the decisions that Elon himself makes, okay? I mean, for instance, their next genius idea coming up to Twitter now is they're gonna remove the number of likes, reposts, saves, comments, whatever, right? All the numbers from all of the public tweets. You know, the, the numbers that you use to identify what's worth interacting with, what people are thinking about tweets, how many people agree with said tweet, right? All of that shit's gonna disappear because Elon Musk doesn't like it. And when people get ratioed that he likes and he gets ratioed, he doesn't like seeing that. And so they're taking the numbers away. But of course, remember, it's a public digital town square and everyone needs to become more knowledgeable on X. Everyone has a free voice on X, except for, you know, I'll get to that later. But what public square is it if I can't see interaction data or if every tweet what you want to interact with is coded in porn advertisements and bots and shit like that? Or if every single trend on the website is filled with extremists, porn and junk? If we care so much about, oh, my public town square, everyone feel free to share your opinion and participate. Well, do you think maybe we can get a website where you can actually see content without that shit? Where you can actually interact with people without that shit? Oh, wait, we're not worried about that, though. None of that stuff actually matters. But remember, digital town square, guys. The evidence and facts are on our side. They conspire to boycott X, which threatens our ability to thrive in the future. That puts your global town square, the one place that you can express yourself freely and openly, at long-term risk. You say that a small group of people shouldn't be able to monopolize what is monetized, but that's quite literally what Elon Musk did, okay? This was a publicly traded company. You know what I mean? Twitter was a publicly traded company before he purchased it, and then he buys it. And he turns it completely privatized so that only he and his appointed people can make decisions that affect the company. And then he purchases it and then, you know, he uses the platform to signal boost his own politics, his own business ideas, his own beliefs, all of the personal changes he wants to happen to it or what get prioritized over anything else. He makes it to where if you want your tweets to actually get reach and visibility, you have to pay the company for Twitter Blue to buy the check mark. He makes it to way where this is the only way you can be paid for creating content on X or whatever, right? And then, you know, everything else that he's done, right? I could go on for hours about all the changes that he's made, right? But, you know, that that's pretty much exactly what happened here. You know what I mean? That's exactly what you guys already did. And I'll explain a little bit more of that here in just a few minutes. These people don't actually think this, though. Elon, all these people, oh, we're making X a free speech platform. They really don't think that, okay? They say they want a place where every user can speak freely from all backgrounds. No restrictions. Just share your opinions, folks. But of course, that is until users say a word that Elon personally dislikes, such as the word cisgender or cis. 
Okay? Because then if you say it, you're going to get targeted. And it's going to fucking pop up a little message that tells you what you said was a hateful slur. And that you're at risk posting that. And then when you do post it, your tweet will be hidden from visibility due to hate speech and, and extreme content. But remember, it's a free speech platform unless you say a word that Elon Musk personally dislikes, okay? But of course, you know, the slurs that Elon dislikes, you can't say those ones. Like cisgender, which that's a slur to him, apparently. You can't say that, but you can say the hard R. That's perfectly fine. You say that, no problems whatsoever. Remember, though, this is a free speech platform until it comes down to something he doesn't like you saying. Or unless you didn't spend your money to get promoted in the fucking algorithm or whatever, right? Remember, though, he couldn't do any of these actions for the advertisers that brought all the money to the fucking platform that made the company actually exist in the first place, right? He couldn't appease them by keeping a, a terms of service and keeping the platform clean. But when it's personal things he doesn't like, he's willing to fight to tooth and nail for it. And then he wonders, like, why all these advertisers left the fucking company and stopped doing what they were doing. Now, when it comes down to it, Here's my personal stance. I don't think companies, regardless of how many of them agree or how many of them disagree, I don't think companies should be forced for any reason to spend money advertising on places that they don't deem them to be acceptable or whatever, right? And that goes for everywhere. If it happened on YouTube today, if every advertiser on YouTube today walked the fuck away and said, you know what, we're never advertising on YouTube ever again. A, it wouldn't really destroy me personally because I have channel memberships and merchandise and, and fucking Shoptimus and all these other places for my supporters to actually fucking give money and support and whatnot. And I already get a pretty decent portion of revenue and whatnot off of these outlets. But also because I'm completely out of fucking control. I don't run YouTube. So if all the ads disappeared, I'd have to cope with it. I'd have to deal with it. But would I start suing people? No, because it's not really in my power or within the law. Same thing on Twitter. Like, if all the advertisers back the fuck out, whatever. I mean, companies should not be legally enforced to spend money on other companies. Private corporations and private companies should not be forced by any government mandate to give money to other companies. I mean, isn't Elon Musk Musk supposed to be like this free speech, free market conservative? Like, this is his whole policy, his whole platform. Oh, well, I believe in freedom. I believe everybody should fucking have their stand, man. Except for people who say things that he doesn't like. Or or people who make fun of him, or people who ratio him, or people who expose what his company's really up to. Then of course, oh, hey, 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 let's pull all that shit back. You know, oh, I'm a big free market capitalist when it comes to my companies and their performances. But when other companies who, you know, I have maybe some sort of interest in make free market decisions themselves, now I have a fucking problem with it. And this is really the main reason why I cannot get behind Elon Musk ever. Because he'll say something based, right? He'll do something based and be like, yeah, I care about free speech. We're going to make sure people can say what they really want to say. And they're not being politically censored. And then he'll go completely back on that when it's not something that he agrees with. And then at that point, there is no redemption because you're just a fucking hypocrite. And when you do it over and over and over and over again, while trying to present yourself like that's not who you are, I notice things like that. And uh, obviously other people do too. That's why Elon Musk's reputation has went completely into the toilet ever since he bought X. And then, of course, there's just simply the most knowledgeable point here, the most fucking obvious point here, right? If you didn't want the advertisers to all pack up their bag and leave the fucking platform in mass when they were threatening you to, maybe you should have done what an actual businessman does, and you should have sat down at a fucking table with these companies. And you should have worked on something. Hey, what can we do and what can you do? for us to come to a middle point on this, right? But no, he chose not to do that. He chose not to do what people in business do, what people in these esteemed positions are supposed to do. He chose to go on stage live in front of all of the cameras and tell them to go fuck themselves and to basically let them know that they're blackmailing him and he doesn't care what they think. And it doesn't matter what his message was there. It doesn't matter what his point was. If it was, you know, hypothetical or he was just, you know, trying to make a point, he told them to go fuck themselves twice this is not you you know and this is the problem because the people who are defending him doing that oh bu, 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 he told them billion, bu, 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 billion dollar corporations to fuck themselves man it's based yeah it's based it was based when it happened but then when they actually do it and they give you what you told them to do when you immediately fucking cry to teacher oh oh bu, 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 they took my money teacher they took all my money from me and then you fucking start filing lawsuits frivolously 
trying to reclaim that money instead of just making your platform better, you kind of lose that fucking coolness, right? You lose that base, right? And in the whole thing, it's gone. You, you can't go on stage and tell these people to go fuck themselves and, and try and act all cool and macho. And then when they actually call your bluff, you break down into a fucking ball of tears and start kicking your feet like a toddler. That's not how the business world works, buddy. And the problem with this is the people who defend him, they think it's like them and their buddies, right? Oh, well, me and my friends tell each other to go fuck our ourselves when we go to the bar and shoot pool and get drunk at Buffalo Wild Wings. Why can't Elon Musk tell a bunch of billion dollar corporations the same thing because this isn't a movie it's not a video game this isn't you know your fucking entertainment world here this is real life these are real corporations with billions of dollars with people running them who are of class that you and i will never understand okay and that's the problem with a lot of these people defending elon they think he's one of them and he's not Elon has the money and he has that shit, but he doesn't have the same level of class and character and, and shit that they all have. While Elon Musk is on stage telling people to go fuck themselves and making 420 69 memes like it's 1995, the people running these other companies who are looking at him like a fucking moron, these are Ivy League educated elites. These are socialites that were born into socialite families. These are people who have spent their entire life in the business world for the most part, learning from their fathers and their grandfathers and, and others, right? These are billion dollars, you know, you're bumping shoulders with the Rothschilds and, and the Waltons and people like that when you're in this fucking world. This isn't mom and pop shop next door, okay? These are billions of billions of dollars on the line. These are real fucking people. These are the people that really control society. And when you tell them in their house to go fuck themselves, yeah, they're not gonna take that too kindly. And it's not me, oh, defending the billion dollar corporations here. It's just the fact of the matter. It's the reality. Nobody from the street could just walk into the CEO of fucking CVS's office and tell him to go fuck himself. He would probably be arrested and trespassed off the property. But Elon thinks that because he has money and he's quote unquote epic le meme pepe cool guy, that he can just say whatever the fuck he wants to people and there's not going to be consequences to it. Well, sorry, Elon. It turns out that the free speech that you love so much when it's for you actually has consequences. And you can't just go around telling people to go fuck themselves and expect for them to want to do business with you. And for them to decide not to do business with you is fucking very simple business when you do things like that. And they keep hinging on this, oh, they colluded illegally to boycott us. In court, all they're going to have to do, literally, by the way, is just go up there, play the video of Elon Musk telling them to go fuck themselves on stage, show the proof of what they see on X that makes it a not advertisable platform. And I'm, I hate to say it for Elon because I know it's going to upset him and it's going to upset a lot of his bots that follow him and love him. But there's a pretty good chance they're not going to win this lawsuit. And if there was a good chance, they would be citing already existing law verbatim for what they would be using as their point of attack. They'd be like, oh, hey, this is Optimus versus state of Wisconsin. It proves that these companies can't back together and fucking decide that they're gonna shut down companies by advertising. But they don't have a law to cite like that. And it's funny because the very few people defending this shit on Twitter who've tried to come at my neck about it, I've simply asked them, okay, well then cite to me one singular federal law in the United States of America that says companies deciding together that a corporation such as X that has declined to the state that it has and has done the things that it has, show me in the law where it's illegal for companies to decide to not advertise there anymore. Because we've seen so many of these advertiser boycotts and none of them have gotten sued. So if there's this big fucking legal, you know, principle already on paper, why is it not being used? And why is it now only being used by X in perhaps one of the weakest states that it could be possibly used in, right? It just, it's nonsense. It really is. The whole thing is fucking nonsense. So anyway, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub the optimist. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. Thank you to my Watch Optimus subscribers. Your support helps the channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus reacting to the X lawsuit and signing out. And that's a wrap on this video, but big shout out to my Optimus Nation supporters. You guys are the real MVPs. For $10 a month, you get access to loads of exclusive videos and archived live streams, my members only Minecraft server where you can possibly appear in gameplay, early access to all new uploads, an invitation to the private discord, and much more.